Hi, welcome to Land the Map. I'm Todd, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can find both the radius and the diameter of a circle when you're given the area. So we're going to have to do a little re reverse engineering to kind of work this out. So we'll show you how you can do that, and we'll start off with a real basic review of our formula for area of a circle. So all that's coming up next on the Land the Map. So in this video, we're looking at finding the diameter and radius of a circle when you already know the area. So the first thing we're going to look at is the formula for finding area of a circle. And to find the area, we take pi, which for this we'll use 3.14, and you multiply it by the radius squared. And the radius is, is the uh, distance halfway across the circle. So that's what we're working with. So we have three examples that we're going to go over. So here's example number one. So in this example, we already know what the area of this circle is. So the whole area that's filled in is 254.34 feet squared. And as we said before, the way you find the area um, of a circle is to take pi, which is our 3.14, times the radius squared. And so right now we don't know what the radius is. Our first step, though, is to get rid of the 3.14. So we're going to divide both sides by 3.14, and when we do that on the left or on the right side, we're going to get rid of the 3.14. So the only thing left is the r squared or the radius squared. On the left side, when we take the 254.34 divided by pi, we get 81. Now 81 is not our answer. It's not our radius. It's what the radius squared is. But we want the radius. So we're going to find the square root of these numbers. So the square root of the radius squared would just be the radius and the square root of 81 is 9. So what we know is this circle right here would have a radius of 9. And since we're using feet, it would be 9 feet. Now, the way we're going to find the diameter is going to be pretty easy. Diameter is the distance all the way across the circle. And it's basically double the length of the radius. So if the radius is 9, the diameter is going to be 18 feet all the way across. So the radius is 9 feet and the di diameter would be 18 feet. So we'll get ready to look at number two here. So an example number two, much like the first one, we already know the area. In this case, it's 452.16 meters squared. So we're trying to find both the radius and the diameter. So we're going to have to kind of reverse engineer this, kind of work backwards. So the, the way we find this is going pi times radius squared. So we'll put these numbers down. And we're trying to find the radius. So the first thing we want to get rid of is the 3.14. So we're going to divide both sides by 3.14, which is pi. And that's going to give us on the right side the radius squared. So pi is gone. 3.14 is gone. On the left side, when we divide, we end up with 144. But again, like the last one, that's not our answer. We're trying to find the radius, not the radius squared. So we find the square root of the radius squared and the square root of 144. On the right side, the square root of radius squared is just plain old radius. The left side is 12. So our radius, the distance halfway across the circle, would be 12, in this case, meters. Now, diameter is the distance all the way across. So if halfway across is 12, we could just multiply this by 2, and we get 24 meters. So our diameter would be 24 meters. So that's our diameter of 24, or in this case, meters. So let's look at our third example. In this third example, we already know the area again, 1,256 inches squared. And again, we're going to try to find both radius and diameter. So again, to find the area, we're taking pi times radius squared. So just like the other two examples, we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by pi. And on the right side, we're going to end up with just the radius, or I'm sorry, the radius squared. So pi is gone. We divide the left side, and we end up with 400. We're now going to find the square root because we're trying to get the radius, not the radius squared. So we find the square root. And on the right side, we're going to end up with R, or just the radius. And on the left side, we're going to get 20. 
So 400 squared is 20. So we know the distance halfway across the circle would be 20, and in this case, inches. Now, the nice thing is once you know the one, like once we know the radius is 20, the diameter is the distance all the way across the circle. So it's just going to be double. So we can just multiply 20 times 2, and that's going to give us 40. So the um, diameter is 40 inches for this one. Well, hopefully this was helpful. We'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel would be great. And you can always visit us at thelandofmath.com. Until next time, we'll see you at the Land of Math.